Sport is a universal discipline that breaks down into two main categories. First of all, you can do individual sports, of which mountaineering is an example. Climbing a mountain is a challenge of balance because this sport requires fitness, suppleness and agility. The snap hooks allow the rope, which assures the climber's safety, to pass smoothly. By choosing different holds, the sportsman raises himself up the vertical rock face. The slightest unevenness on the rock surface enables the climber to place the tip of his shoe, create a press hold and reach the summit of the cliff. This sport is highly recommended to lovers of extreme sensations. But mind that vertigo! You can do sport either to relax in the form of a hobby or for competition. Swimming, which can also be a competitive sport, encompasses several types of strokes. Breaststroke, front crawl, backstroke and butterfly, of which we can see a fine example. This stroke is done by simultaneously throwing both arms forward while the feet, joined together, execute a downward movement. The body then creates enough force to move forward in the water. Magnificent, isn't it? On the other hand, it isn't easy to swim in snow. But as mankind knows how to take advantage of everything that nature brings, he invented skiing. He even thought up three different types, cross-country, artistic, and as we can see here, downhill skiing. The skier's equipment includes two ski poles that help him keep his balance. Watch out for any obstacles. There are lots of fir trees on the runs. In the mountains, when the summer comes, you can also go mountain biking. This relatively new sport consists in going where there are no existing paths. Because falls can be frequent, the cyclist wears a helmet for protection. Mountain biking demands a lot of physical effort and stamina, but the beauty of the scenery covered rewards the sportsman for his exertion. There are also team sports. American football, similar to rugby, played in the rest of the world, is played with an oval ball. It's quite a violent sport. This is why the players are equipped with shoulder pads that protect them on contact with their adversaries. But the most universal sport, without a doubt, is football. Here the ball is round. The players may only use their feet, head or chest to touch the ball. Are you familiar with basketball? This team sport, usually played indoors, is gradually becoming a street game. The players pass the ball to each other until one of them shoots at the basket. When the ball goes through the hoop, the team scores points. To move with the ball, the players must dribble. And guess who win the game? Those with the most points, of course.